If you clicked this video, it's because you want to know why did God allow sin in the earth? My hope is to make this as simple as possible for you. And I'm going to give you three illustrations that hopefully help answer this question for you. But you need to know that God only allowed sin because he allowed humans to have a free will to choose life or death. Life has benefits. Death has consequences. Matthew 18, 18 says, I promise you God in heaven will allow whatever you allow on earth, but God will not allow anything you do not allow. And God isn't a liar, so he can't pretend to give you a choice and then slap it out of your hand if you're about to make the wrong choice. Free will has to come with the ability of being able to choose the wrong thing. So here we go, three illustrations that are gonna help you understand why God allowed sin. Number one, if a parent throws the keys to their car to their teenager and the teenager drives the car in to a tree, whose fault was it? It was the teenager's fault. Did the parent allow them to drive into a tree? Well, yes, but it wasn't their fault. They gave them free will to drive the car and the teenager made a mistake. This is how it is with Adam and Eve. God gave them the keys to the earth and they drove it into a tree by listening to the devil. The second illustration I wanna share is that I believe that God is a lot like a dentist. Now, stay with me, I think you're gonna enjoy this. A dentist, at least a, a good dentist, a dentist is there to help you. Do you agree? Now the dentist might have to remove something and it might be painful and it might hurt, but at the end of the day, why are they doing that? Is it to hurt you or help you? The dentist gives you wisdom and tells you what to do and what not to do. Why? To boss you around? You see, that's some people's view of God, that God just wants to boss us around, that he tells us what we can and can't do because he wants to control us. No, a dentist says brush your teeth twice a day and floss. Why? Come on, help me. Why? To help you. They tell you to quit drinking soda and quit eating so much candy. Again, why? To help you. Now, do they follow you out of that dentist office and control everything you eat? Do they put the toothbrush in your mouth at night and make you floss? No. Why? Because you have a free will. The dentist can give you wisdom, but it's up to you if you use it or not. It's up to you what you do. This is a lot like how God operates. Now, if you get a cavity, is it the dentist's fault? No, you probably didn't do what they told you to do. Proverbs 19.3 says people ruin their lives by their own foolishness and then are angry at the Lord. A lot of people blame God for their problems. There are people who claim to be an atheist, mad at God because they or someone else made a bad decision, but they blame God. That's like blaming the dentist for cavities. Now I will say, should you run away from the dentist and hide if you get a cavity? No, you go to them so they can help. It might hurt, but they will help you. In the same way, if we make mistakes or life gets rough, run to God so he can fix it. So this picture helps us understand why sin is in the world. Because God is not a controlling God, like a dentist, he gives wisdom, he makes himself available to help, but he stands on the outside of our life and lets us make our own decisions. The third illustration that I wanna share is my marriage. My wife always has an option to walk away. Otherwise, it's not real love. Real love is by choice. If she is forced to stay with me, does she really have a free will? Now, I don't believe she ever will, but every day she has a choice to leave me. Why? Because she has a free will. Every day my wife and I choose to stay with each other. We choose. We choose to love each other because we have free will. Love does not control. Love does not force. 1 Corinthians 13, 5 through 6 says, love never gives up. Love cares more for others than for self. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut, doesn't have a swelled head. I really wanted you to hear this part. Love doesn't force itself on others. Isn't always me first, doesn't fly off the handle, doesn't keep score of the sins of others. And 1 John 4 says, God is love. So love doesn't force itself on others. God doesn't force himself on others. God doesn't make you invite him into your life. He doesn't make you obey him. He doesn't make you invite him to the party. God didn't want robots. He wanted a family. Is it really fun for him if you're only spending time with him because he makes you do it? Jesus said, here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. So to answer this question as simply as possible, why did God allow sin in the earth and why does he continue to? Because humans have a free will to choose and someday we will all be rewarded for our choices, both good and bad, and our sin will be punished. And the only way to be saved from our sin and from that punishment is by receiving Jesus who died on the cross for you and me and by asking him to be our Lord and Savior. And if you wanna to learn to hear God's voice, click this video right here and I'll see you in the next video.